Time to musk up. Wow. What's up, YouTube? All right. Uh, I wanted to make this video uh, an informative video on like uh, every top 10 video about panties and uh, compliments and blah, blah, blah. Um, I think this is an issue that a lot of fragrance lovers have, uh, and that is uh, defective bottles. Um, I've had that issue countless times, and it's basically two steps that you really want to look at uh, as soon as you get a fragrance in the mail. Uh, so this way you can take care of a, uh, of a refund or uh, an exchange as quickly as possible, unless it might be discontinued um, or it might be the last bottle available on eBay. At that point, you would have to, you know, refund, get a refund and look for another bottle uh, or if you want to live with a defective bottle. But the first step is pretty easy, and that is a just a straight leak uh, around the crimp of the neck of the bottle. Um, most of the time this is easy to find because when the bottle ships, most of the time it's laying on its side. So that's giving it time for fragrance to leak out. Um, and you can notice, especially if sometimes you see holes and people are like, oh, I can smell it out the box. Um, you know, th sometimes that's not a good sign. Usually sometimes the fragrance is powerful, powerful, but um, most of the time that's not a good sign. So first thing you want to do right away is look and see, obviously, if there's any fragrance uh, around the neck of the crimp. But sometimes it might be a slow leak. So what I do is I have these here, and this is oil absorbing sheets. And this is perfect because it doesn't rip easily, um, unlike uh, maybe a napkin or paper and um, only oil absorbs it, uh, absorbs to it. Uh, water w does not absorb to it, so you will not see uh, any water stains on these sheets. So this stuff is absolutely perfect. Um, so once you get the bottle, if the leak is really um, slow, then you won't be able to see it because it's hiding in here. So what you want to do is find an area that you can fit this in. As you can see, if you hear any background noise, that's Thor. Say what's up, Thor. I don't know, he thinks I'm, I have food up here. All right, so as you can see, place it in the neck area of the bottle and you'll go all around, try and get it as far in there as possible. Sometimes if it's really tight, I'll do this, I'll pull it and then get a tighter uh, fit in there. And then you can go like that and as you can see, I can get the, uh, the, uh, the neck, the glass neck of the bottle, pull it out and then you'll be able to tell right away as soon as any oil gets absorbed to this paper. And as you can see, it's dry. So the bottle doesn't leak. Next test, I think, is the one that everyone uh, doesn't notice until it's too late to return it or exchange the bottle. Sometimes it's not um, in case of a bottle like Frederick Mull because the sprayers are so strong and powerful. What will happen is you wear the fragrance, you'll spray it a couple of times, you know, five, six, ten times. And then you might notice there, there will be some uh, fragrance residue uh, seeping out from here, or it might be filling up inside here. Uh, basically, I don't know if you would call it the valve right underneath this cap, the little stem that this connects to. Um, so what you want to do is as soon as you get the bottle, wear it spray it four or five times and then once you do that get this paper again and tuck it in right underneath here and this will this is obviously a lot easier because there's room here and then just spin it all the way around 
pull out the uh, oil absorbing sheet. And if it's dry, then the sprayer is not defective. Um, I don't want to pull this cap out here, but um, basically the same uh, contraption here. Uh, if you look, when you pull out all sprayers of a perfume bottle, you'll have this little stem here. And most of the time, a defective sprayer will leak from around here. And it's happened countless times. I've uh, found bottles that were defective and I was able to uh, return them. Some brands that it's happened to is actually the Labo a lot. Um, but they do everything in front of you and they have a bunch of sprayers at the counter. So I've never had issues. I just go back and they pop this off and they put a new one on for me. Annoying, but it is what it is. That's life. Um, but all brands don't do what Lilapo does. So, um, you know, you'll obviously have to call up and, uh, take care of that issue. Um, you know, I've seen some videos of people, um, decanting perfume and then they notice there's a leak because they, they turn the bottle upside down and it's just pouring out. So just, uh, something for fragrance lovers to look out for to make sure that out of their 200 bottles that they don't have any leaky or defective sprayers in their collection because that's really annoying. Um, you're gonna lose fragrance because of evaporation and you're gonna lose it because every time you spray, some is leaking out. And at the prices that some people pay for the stuff that they love, um, you know, it, it just sucks. Uh, so those two steps, when you get a, a new bottle in the mail, test it out, make sure it's good. And uh, yeah, hope that helps anybody. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.